So here we have a great streaming application updated in the last few days, giving you access to just a phenomenal library of great movies, great TV shows that you can enjoy on your Fire Stick, on your Android TVs, absolutely free. Now this application doesn't require any kind of registration, no usernames, no passwords. This latest update has added lots of more live TV channels with a fully working program guide, with a massive library of movies and TV shows. I think this update is definitely worthwhile checking out. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials the latest fire stick android and android tv tips and tricks then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell it's a small click from you but it makes a big difference to me thank you and here we can see the application was updated on the 4th of december so only a few days old and that's the key thing with these official applications that they do regularly get updates to their content to their library so if it's a live TV application, you'll probably see some more live channels. If it's movies and TV shows, more content will be added to that free library. So this way, having the latest version just ensures that you have the best possible content. Let's open that up. Now, when you start the application for the first time, we can see that it gives you the option to create a free login. Now, now some of you may prefer to do this just so you can have more of a feature rich experience where you can add favorites, you can create playlists, and you can just customize the application if you want to. However, in my demonstration, I'm going to show you everything that's available without requiring any kind of sign up. Let's click on skip. Now Plex itself, I mean, it just has so many features. The main one being that the ability to catalog all of your home media. So if you have previously downloaded or purchased movies online, you got all of them saved on a hard drive, on a NAS drive, or just on your computer, wherever they're saved, you can actually install the Plex server and get the Plex server to index and catalog all of your content. Once it's done that, you can now access all of that content from any of your other devices. So I have done a video on this in the past, but Plex really is a very, very powerful home media server and a great way for you to organize and catalog your home media library. Now we can see here on this application, we have a channel guide. We can see exactly what's playing on now, what's coming on next. If I just tried the first one, channel guide, and we should now see a fully configured electronic program guide. So we can see all of these channels. We can see all of the content, see what's on now, what's coming up next and just give you that more cable TV like experience. So here, for example, we can see we have Earth's final hours. Let's click on that. Give that a second. And because this is an official streaming application, we shouldn't see any kind of buffering. We shouldn't see any kind of stuttering. All of this content should be in high definition and just load very quickly. And we can see it's done exactly that. Now, if I just press the down on the remote, with this brings up the menu, so now, for example, I can enable subtitles. Let's turn those on. Let's press back and we can see that's now working properly. So great feature and that is baked into all of the different channels. Let's press back. So that's one of the channels there. So lots of different content. Now, if you go to the top, you can actually sort these channels into different categories. So we have the feature channels, we have entertainment, movies, reality, news and opinion, kids, family, lifestyle, sport. You can see guys, there's lots of different channels and there is a dedicated section for Spanish content. Now, for example, I'm interested in just sports only. Click on that. And this will now filter out all of the channels and just show me the sports content only. Here we can see we have some uh, MMA uh, type content or UFC type content. Give that a second. Just to show you that it's not just one channel or one type of content, because this is an official application, everything in this application is working, it's working straight away. And once again, that really is a fantastic high definition picture. Let's back out of that. So hundreds of channels, guys, lots of different categories, again, with that fully working program guide, 
we can also see we have a dedicated section for movies and shows. So if I click on that, and we now get access to all of these movies and TV shows, again, all sorted out into different categories. Here's all of the holiday-based content. Then we have martial arts, we have Plex Picks. I mean, let's try this one over here. Click on play. And again, in a couple of seconds, and that's working great, guys. You can see when they say Plex does have a vast library of great movies, great TV shows, and now all of that live TV content, all of that in a single application, I think with this latest update is definitely worthwhile checking out. Let's press back. So we can see really nice uh, information about the movie, about the content. We get to see some extras. You can watch the trailer. You can read some reviews. So for somebody that really does enjoy their movies and TV shows, this application really has a fantastic layout. Now the last feature is the discover section. Now this really is a great feature that they've added recently, which allows you to look at all of your streaming services on your device and then aggregate that content into this Plex application. So instead of me opening up Netflix or opening up Disney Plus or any of the other applications to see the latest content or see what's been added, I can now access all of that content through this application. So if I click on select my streaming services, let's say I subscribe to uh, Prime Video, let's say BBC iPlayer, and you can see guys, in terms of different streaming services, they do have a, a large list, including the big freebie. Let's click on that and let's do Netflix. So just for, just for a quick test and click on done. So I quickly signed in, which is absolutely free. And now we can see all of the content on my different streaming services. So here is some trending content. And we can see, for example, this thing here is available on Netflix. Similarly, going through the list, this one, for example, we can see is available on eight different services, including all of those ones there. So a great way for you to find content from your different services, instead of you opening up five different streaming applications, you can add all of those services into Plex and through the single application, you can now quickly access all of that content. So overall guys, I'm very impressed with this latest update from Plex with all of these extra live TV channels with that fully working program guide with the new movies and TV shows they've added into their library and also that discover section so you can quickly find out what to watch from your different streaming services and the fact that we can do all of this without requiring any VPN or any login, I think this latest update is definitely worthwhile checking out. And if you want to get this on all of your devices, just press the home key and here we can just type in the word Plex or you can just say Plex and that's the latest version there. And just before you go guys, if you don't have a VPN or you're thinking about changing your current VPN, IP Vanish are now doing a crazy promotion whereby you can get complete protection for unlimited devices at really fast speeds with confirmed zero data logging at just over three dollars a month so really at that price point to get total protection to protect your privacy to change your ip address to make sure that nobody can watch what you're doing online i think it's definitely worthwhile checking out so please do leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this updated application and i'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon thanks